Now, the story I'm going to show you is one that I did when my boys were really, really little. But what I like about uh, traditional scrapbooking is that they can always add to the story. And um, so, for example, in here at the end, they, there are some of their insights, and we added those. So this is just a little one that they could drag around with, me, with them, um, and it really only responded to their needs when they were very little. But you'll see it has pretty sophisticated information, too. It has their doctor in New York. It has... Um, themselves as embryos. As a, a chronic scrapbooker, one of the things I do is I'm always <laughs> gathering memorabilia. So right before we were going to do the transfer, I said, could I have a photograph of the embryo embryos? And they went, really? And I said, yeah. So you'll see my boys before they were <laughs> put into me. Um, uh, yes. So that's what I do as I gather information. And that helps to tell the story and helps to make it real, and I can't believe that I've been on this journey for like 12 years. It's just remarkable. So here's the story. I based it on, because it was really hard to figure out how to tell this story. I spent hours and days. It was just so hard. Now it seems so easy, but it was so hard. So I based it on this story called Mommy Was Your Tummy Big as a launch, and let's go. So how did I get in there? <laughs> Mommy, was your tummy very big when we were in it? It was, let me tell you. <laughs> and my shoe size changed too. <laughs> Full size. Oh yes, my tummy was very big, but how did we get in there? When Dad and I met, we fell in love. We wanted to be together forever. We wanted to add children to our family. Mommy and Daddy wanted to have babies like you very much, but seasons passed and no babies came. Mommy and Daddy went to doctor after doctor after doctor. We had test after test after test. Mom took many medicines. Ouch! It took a long time. We tried many times, but no baby came. We were very sad and very disappointed. Finally, doctor mm -hmm, told us he could help us to have a baby. He found a special lady who was very generous. She gave us small but very important gifts, some eggs. They were baby eggs, not eating eggs, explained Marcus. He said that when he was about three. Were they chicken eggs? No, women have teeny tiny eggs, and the doctor put the ladies' eggs together with daddy's sperm into a warm, cozy place in mommy's body, and that is my boys' embryos. And it worked. Two babies started to grow in mommy's tummy. They grew and grew and grew and grew, and that was you, Marcus and Samuel. Mom and dad flew home to Australia and waited to meet you. Mom and Dad were so excited, we couldn't wait to meet our beautiful boys, everyone that we know. Mama, Papa, aunts, uncles, cousins, and many, many friends were so excited to meet you. <laughs> Included in this book, we have pictures of the doctor. He said, you only really want my picture? Yes, I want your picture. <laughs> and um, I included the pictures of them as embryos. And then I had pictures of them, you know, the day that they were born. And uh, the way it ends. I had their certificates from the hospital, because our hospital is very nice, and their announcement from the newspaper, that's all memorabilia, and um, the first day, night that they slept together at home. You know, this is just an easy way to tell the story, and we still refer to it when they get confused. <laughs>